Let's come to the topic too. It's about employee separation. When we talk about employee separation, I hope all of you are very pretty familiar with employee separation. It's nothing but uh, you know the employee is leaving the organization and going. So there also again you know there is a different kind of strategy can be adopted uh, to avoid that employee separation. Uh, you know, let's take and think about a statement: employee separation can be just as important as employee retention. Yes. Employee separation is also as equivalent and as important like an employee retention. Organization pursuing a differentiation completely rely on high skilled employee who have a specialized knowledge and ability. Whichever employee has got a high kind of you know skills and the knowledge, uh, those kind of an employee has to be treated different way. An employee who is not capable of providing a skill kind of an input does not contribute, making a termination of a non-performing employees critical for an organization because by you know uh, having or retaining such kind of an employee the organization will not get long term you know benefits so that's an idea behind it so ultimately you know they can able to seek and produce a premium goods and services so that's where you know the turnover is inevitable now let's try to look at it what is the kind of a turnover happens there are three types of a turnover happens when we talk about turnover is nothing but employee leaves the organization and going so there are three types of a turnover one is your voluntary turnover the second one is involuntary turnover the third one is a dysfunctional turnover voluntary turnover is employee himself takes a decision and then decided to leave that's your voluntary turnover involuntary turnover wherever the organization you know the employees are certain employees are not performing well and uh, non performing employees are a low performers uh, the organization themselves you know try to send them out or probably give them a termination letter so that's your involuntary turnover and the third one is a dysfunctional turnover it's nothing but when an employee performance is actually you know not really that adequate uh, voluntarily employee decides to quit and uh, leaves the organization and going that's called it is your dysfunctional kind of an you know turnover now let's try to look at what are the types of an employee turnover and uh, retention strategy we can work out uh, that can be you know purely based on two major factor on the y-axis the employee choice whether it is a voluntary choice or whether it is an uh, involuntary choice and on the other side if you look into it employee contribution uh, high high level contribution and a low level contribution so based on that there are four types of an you know, employee we can work out one is your desirable employee remains with the organization and another one is undesirable employee remains with an organization and the third one is desirable employee quits undesirable employee quits so that's a way actually you know if you look into it uh, uh, you have four major category so now let's come to the first category there uh, you know no intention to leave the you know uh, organization voluntarily so employee choices employee has decided that no intention to leave the organization voluntarily but employee contribution if you look into it they are very very high performers those people are normally referred as desirable employee by the organization remains with uh, the organization that means functionally they could able to do better job they could able to you know meet the criteria that's your functional retention the second kind of a thing is uh, the employee contribution is very very low but employee doesn't have an intention to leave the organization this kind of a category is very very you know common so where undesirable employee actually by the organization they are not really required but they remains with the organization they are called it as your dysfunctional retention and the third kind of a category is your uh, you know intention to you know leave the organization voluntarily by the employee but employee contribution level is high performance that means desirable kind of an employee by the organization but they quit mainly because of the dysfunctional turnover when we talk about dysfunctional turnover some instant you know they could they could not able to do their uh, you know functional things properly because of their personal reason or whatever it is but because of their voluntary decision they decided to quit another kind of a thing is like low performer but uh, voluntarily you know decided to leave they are undesirable employee they quits it's a functional kind of turnover it's anyway required so this dysfunctional turnover has to be you know properly dealt with and those kind of you know people turnover has to be you know really managed very well now let's look at what are the paths to you know decision to quit uh, path one is actually you know initial shock abruptly you know taken a call by the employee to decided to quit so that will be a big kind of a shock for the organization as well as for the peer group and the next kind of a path is like initially it will be a shock 
and uh, you know using a thoughtful kind of an analysis they decided to quit after some time and path 3 is initial shock there will be a thoughtful analysis they will compare with what are the other kind of an alternative jobs are available and after they get different kind of an alternative jobs they they decided to quit and path 4 is the kind of you know feeling of uh, what you call it as dissatisfaction and uh, based on the dissatisfaction because the dissatisfaction they will do a lot of thoughtful analysis and uh, they will look at all organization what are the kind of another alternative job and because the dissatisfaction in the job uh, might be various reasons they decided to quit though so these are the kind of a path uh, normally been applicable so ultimately if you look into it because the low job satisfaction they'll be withdrawn from their present work and ultimately you know they decided to quit so these the, you know the job satisfaction lead to you know quitting most of the time and uh, how do we actually you know human resource practices can be adopted to reduce the turnover so you can do staffing that means a realistic kind of you know job uh, people you need to look into it we need to provide them a training and development we need to you know showcase the career path and provide the right kind of a compensation and maintain a very good employee relationship through that you know we can reduce the turnover so with this actually you know the turnover managing we can able to you know look at it